snuggle it in for you as if it's some sort of like shady deal. <laughs> And I'm so excited that you came back to watch my Christmas special, 31 Days of Story Times. Each day this December, I will be posting new true stories from my life. Hilarious, personal, just for your entertainment. Remember to subscribe before we start the story, just so you'll, you know, be notified every time I post something. <laughs> Keep the notifications on. Let's begin. Today I want to tell you the story of the first time that I bought a menstrual pad. So for any girls out there, you know, the first time you need some womenly products, it's awkward. It's awkward if you have to bring it up to an adult and say, you know what, while you're at the store, you want to pick up some tampons or menstrual pads for me because I'm bleeding. That's what it feels like. It feels very overdramatic and it feels like you just announced that you're going to start the apocalypse. That's basically what it feels like. It feels very overdramatic. Super awkward. So I decided to bypass those things and because I was the daring one, just like in the condom story, if you've seen that, I was the daring one. I wasn't just going to be like, hey mom, can I have some of your menstrual pads? No, I was like, I'm going to go get my own, and it's going to be exciting and thrilling, and it's going to be an adventure at the grocery store. So I go to the local grocery store with my friend, this tiny little store, and we're looking for pads. Now, the really funny thing is, there was one aisle dedicated to feminine hygiene products, and of course, that aisle was just next to the cash register, obviously. Just like with the condoms. Whenever I'm gonna buy something awkward, it's always really close to the cash out point. Where everyone is, where everyone's looking at you. Well, that's what you think. When you're that age, you think that everyone is looking at you. You think that everyone is following your every single move and you think that they're judging you and they're like, oh my God, that child has become a woman. She's bleeding, how juicy, <laughs> the gossip. That's what you think. Yeah, that's what, that's the times a thousand. That's what you feel like. So we were standing there and we felt like we couldn't really walk over there because that would be suspicious. I don't know why buying things you need because you're suddenly, you know, experiencing something completely normal is suspicious activity, but that's what we felt like. Like, it would be suspicious if we were standing that close to the feminine hygiene product aisle. So we were literally one aisle away, frantically not really looking at what we were looking at, like picking at the feminine hygiene products having hushed discussions about what color of package, which product, hmm, the one in the third row or the fourth row, the pink one, the yellow one, which one should I buy? And again, we did the drive-by thing, just like with the condom story. We did the drive-by feminine hygiene product perusing as we're like, just normally walking past. <laughs> did you get anything? Well, it was kind of hard. We were walking so fast, I couldn't really see anything. And then... But maybe like the pink one? The pink one looks nice because, you know, the packaging is pink. I don't know. So we're standing there and it's so awkward and it comes to the point where I just freak out. I just kind of freeze and I go, I can't go over there. I can't go over there. And she's like, what do you mean? I can't, I can't. No, no, they'll see me. The people standing in line are going to see me walking over to the feminine hygiene products. They're going to see me. Walking over to the pads, they're going to see me. The cashier, the people waiting in line, they're all going to see me. It's too embarrassing. You have to go. Yep. I forced my friend. Oh, forced. I don't want to say forced because she, I think she found it equally as thrilling as I did. So it's more like outsourced that part of the mission. After a very long, very prolonged discussion, hushed discussion over what kind she should be snatching as she hurries by in a super fast feminine hygiene product drive-bys and then she hurries over to me and she's got the goods and we're standing there and we're holding this little package of pink pads it's like a pink package it's this big i don't know and we're like the holy grail nobody can see and the really funny part is we were standing there for a good 20 minutes okay 20 minutes of pretending like we're really fascinated and really really interested in like tape and rubber bands and stationary supplies secretly watching what kind of brand we want to buy in the feminine hygiene product aisle and then for some strange reason i just take the package and i walk over to the cashier point and i pay for it like the fuck 
we were standing there for a good 20 minutes and I was like, I can't go over there because someone in the cash place, people standing in line or the cashier themselves is going to see me in the feminine hygiene product aisle. So I can't walk over there and pick one out. But walking over and paying for it, having to have some strange, awkward small talk and look someone in the eye as you do it, bunch of people behind you and in front of you, obviously seeing what you're purchasing, that was no problem at all. Kid logic. <laughs> yeah. I was only 12, so you know. A lot of things happened that year. What was your first purchase of those type of products like? Was it through someone else? Did someone snuggle it in for you into your house? Purchasing it for you as if it's some sort of like shady deal? <laughs> or did you brave it and buy it yourself? Do leave a comment in the comments below. Share with me. I can't wait to read them. <laughs> if you like that story, do subscribe and leave the notifications on and leave a like. So you'll be notified every day when I post a new story time.